Plonk, the largest elementary school district in the state, just released designs for its newest school. Tennis reporter Joe Little reveals how this is just the beginning of a massive expansion in Chula Vista. Chula Vista is growing pretty quickly again. That's why the Chula Vista Elementary School District will break ground next month on its newest school right across the street from these brand new homes. As long as the economy keeps uh, accelerating. It'll be Saburo Mudooka Elementary, the 46th school in the district and the first in San Diego County named for a Japanese American. It's an extraordinary family story. Jeez. Wow. It's their family story. And this yeah. is the first time these Chula Vista businessmen have seen the plans for the school named for their father and grandfather. I was elated that, that he, he got it, but I was you know elated for the whole Japanese community. Saburo Murooka was a Chula Vista farmer. However, he and his family, including son Roy, were taken to a Japanese internment camp in Texas during World War II. It's one of the deep scars in American history. Roy's dad was undeterred. Well, you can take away my job or my way of farming, but you can't take away what's in my head. The Muda Okas returned to Chula Vista after the war and rebuilt their lives. It's good that the story is retold. Retold in a school that will carry their family's name. I think he deserved it. It is the first new school out of 11 projected for Chula Vista. 11. All the spots in red are new schools on the district radar. Over another 15 to 20 years. An ambitious plan for Chula Vista's future and Saboto Murooka's great-granddaughter, who could attend a school named for her family. She could be queen of that school. <laughs> in Chula Vista, Joe Little, 10 News.